Hey, what's going on traders? It's Richard here with uh, Lionheart TWA back with another technical analysis Elliott Wave Dose. So today is the 19th of June. It is 15.40 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time. And what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to give you guys multiple trading ideas and trading setups in a matter of minutes. So uh, without further ado, let's say if you do um, we'll get started, but if you do like this video, please remember to support it with a thumbs up. Appreciate it. And if you would like to receive the, my daily wave counts, daily updates, I do uh, make, uh, let's say every day I make a post in which I am uh, updating multiple markets. Uh, let's say crypto indices, metals, forex, uh, let's say forex majors and forex cross pairs, etc. But uh, let's just, uh, where we don't have enough time, uh, let's just jump on the economic calendar because Canadian dollar is actually kicking some um, butt, uh, especially the US dollars. So we have some release dates that the CPI was awesome for, the, for Canada. Let's just jump first on the um, to our chart on USD CAD and I cannot stop noticing this uh, potential breach of course in a wave one two right here and the three of three should start not sure if the correction would actually even would even occur but definitely this is uh, most likely turning bearish okay now um, of course in my daily updates in the green room and so on i've been active even from the very tops on these divergences and so on at the end of the diagonal at the end of the pattern so i was on top of it not only with this one but also tracking this and expecting the downfall so we're in the right track this means that Today, uh, further on, we have, let's say, the for the euro, we have the ECB, President Draghi speaking, and we also have the most anticipated event of this month, the FOMC statement, the obviously the press conference, which is um, most important, will cause a lot of volatility. But um, simply put, from the fundamental side, um, no rate is expected and some dovishness in uh, Powell's speech. So... Let's just jump on the other charts, okay? So allow me to explain to you what I have here. Now the dollar index, dollar index on this uh, two hour time frame, the way I'm labeling and obviously I've been tracking these uh, patterns and the drop, which could actually uh, cause some damage if, if indeed this results in a leading diagonal like this as a descending wedge followed by a correction, which would be a wave two. However, as you can actually see, there are chances for this uh, next swing to be corrective, which means that it's supposed to be a free. Now, if uh, obviously the golden ratio 61.8 of this entire rise would be in focus, okay, but uh, we do have a bearish divergence at the end of this uh, ABC, basically the C wave in an impulse, okay, um, touching the golden ratio from the previous fall but we also have some harmonic patterns going on right there uh, but point is that the dollar might be turning bearish uh, due to powell's dovish uh, expected dovish speech and if this is so then how will this will this affect the uh, forex majors right and the metals so let's move on to the euro usd now the euro usd i'm i actually posted some um, some bullish uh, some bullish levels let's say uh, because I am seeing a potential leading diagonal right here in this one, okay? And the correction, uh, it is hovering around the golden ratio, 61.8, vibrating right here. That's, this I'm seeing as the last fourth, fourth wave, uh, basically, within this sequence. So, fifth wave, not sure if it's going to hit the 70, 78.6, but definitely a reaction would be expected there. If it breaches this, then... Um, I don't really think the euro is going to go up anymore, but this is the last chance that the euro could actually impress, okay? And the reason why I'm saying that is because the pound, the pound dollar had a CPI today, it was also okay. Um, so, I'm actually seeing a potential rise right here in an impulsive uh, sequence, and the structure would be 
uh, an ABC. By the looks of it, it's not really going to be a running flat, more likely an expanding flat, which means that the C wave could be uh, extend, extensive. Okay, it would actually extend for the upside. Dollar yen right here. Um, I am seeing this as a potential corrective uh, structure and which could actually imply more downside. Okay. Now for the USD Swiss right there, I've been, um, I've been trying to catch it at exactly at the 161.8, but it seems to me like it's preparing a possible breach. If indeed it goes, it goes on the upside, this order will be filled and I'm going to be ready to go. But uh, it could actually breach as of now and then make the correction. So watch out for this correction and then you could actually get in if you want to. Next, we already, already went through it, but I'm just going to uh, run through it very quickly. As I said, I'm labeling this as a one and then uh, this, this uh, wave as a second wave and followed by the free of freeze. Okay, so USD CAD could actually be... Uh, ready to impress not sure as I said if it's even gonna uh, deliver this uh, this second wave but this is the breaking point okay and anything above that and should be the golden ratio 61.8 50% of this uh, entire drop uh, and then just look for just I'm just gonna look for a corrective uh, free wave sequence right here for uh, continuation okay because I've been uh, actually active from the top and so were my traders now AUD USD kind of looks to me like it's in a hurry and this actually looks like a like an impulse a wave one and normally it should re retrace until the golden ratio 61.8 right here it is doing a potential on a smaller scale a potential a bull flag so could be paving the way for the upside now NZD USD now, NZD USD, uh, similar to AUD, but uh, what bothers me is that this is not lower. I mean, the fifth wave is not lower than the third wave, but it could be a truncation. So, if that is uh, if that is the case, then obviously this, uh, similar to the AUD, this would be corrective. So, again, paving the way for more upside. Now, let's just jump on the metals. Metals. Oh, this is tricky. Okay, now. I did my part right here. It went up in a rampage, so we caught the impulse in the green room. Now, what I'm thinking is either this is a one, two, three, four, five, okay, just like the previous video that I did, I explained to you that this is a corrective pattern, there's more upside uh, to come. We had that, but as you can actually see, there is a pot uh, possibility for an ending diagonal right there. But um, if this is an ending diagonal, then obviously this will be an A, B. Notice that the trend actually started with a free wave sequence right here in this one. Okay, so might be an A. Then So A, B, C, this would be the first wave in the ending diagonal. Then of course, this expanding flat to be the second wave. Uh, this could either be an A or the entire free. Okay, so A, then this to be the B, and then uh, C, so this to be the 3, 4, and then 5, or it's uh, it's just 1, 2, and then this is 3, and then triangle in this 4, watch out for this triangle, y'all, and boom, one more, uh, in, one more move on the upside, which would need to be big, uh, extend the top, create a new... Uh, multiple years high and also possibly complete a very large degree uh, pattern but if that's the case then this ending diagonal would be the cause of gold running from this amazing 1380 1300 anyway uh, the 61.8 is actually my focus right now unless it's going to be the um, and this is going to be the 100%, okay? Now, uh, depends on how much this thing extends. It could actually go all the way uh, up to 1395, okay? But the first stage is 1365, okay? From here. So, if that's the case, if it does the overshoot, then there's a very big pattern, which, uh, by the way, if you would like me to go on, um, to make a video on the, 
uh, on uh, silver, gold, etc., on the multiple time frames, daily, weekly, etc., full analysis. Leave your comments below, and I will be glad to share with you uh, this uh, this view. But I am keeping uh, keeping an eye on gold because there is a possibility, regardless if the 61.8 or 100% are the regardless what level it is, from here to go down uh, at least until 1 to 10. So that's a lot. That, that's a big trade. Okay. Now, if this is the case, just the way it's uh, it's labeled and somehow this does this and then it breaches this uh, lower trend line then the downtrend this has already started for gold and 1 to 10 minimum is on the radar okay silver let's just see what silver is up to because ooh, this is dodgy this one hasn't i mean while gold was rising in a rampage this thing has mostly um went sideways but there is one pattern in which this could actually be an impulse so just like you see five wave sequence right here one minor one uh, green then minor two an expanding flat uh, green and then one two one two one two and this better be it because if it's not then it will actually transform into something else and um, if it breaches this then for sure it's gonna go down okay so I just wanted to brief you guys up on the uh, actual pattern. So today's FMC is very, very important, okay, especially for these uh, for these metals. But I'm still inclining towards the FOMC being uh, somewhat um, dovish today. So no rate hike and possibly announce in the future rate cuts. So let's see. Um, last but not the least it's the wti crude oil which actually i've been keeping my eye and tracking this entire uh, downfall not, not also the rise but also the downfall um the wave counts and everything is actually on the website if you want to convince yourself but uh, you can see that from my previous videos webinars etc anyhow um this i'm labeling it as a c wave one two three and this kind of looks like uh, either a triangle or a complex double three okay in a sense that this could be w x a b c now this c wave can actually extend until i mean it did hit the 100 percent, so it could actually just start dropping any time okay so it could be a b c until the 100 percent, but I get the feeling that it's gonna rise until the 161.8 and then hit some other um, important uh, fibs as you can see multiple fibs are aligning around that level 55.90 okay keep an eye on that because if it breaches it and it wins it's go if it breaks out and it goes on the upside then most likely it's gonna gain support and the bull market has just returned okay so somewhere along the line this is basically the end of the fifth wave the end of the C wave and we're straight going up okay i'm not looking at that just yet but we'll we'll basically um see it through okay now next let's take a look uh, quickly at the um indices okay so starting off with the eu indices european indices right here cac 40 on the four hour time frame um i am inclining towards this being an expanding uh, flat which uh, actually extended quite quite a lot so it hit my uh, my levels right here but i am actually expecting inclining towards a little bit of a more rise to actually cause a proper uh, bearish divergence down there uh, in a sense that this uh, to be the a wave and this to be the b wave paving the way for uh, the C thus completing a larger degree structure and then of course I will be turning bullish if this setup actually concludes next will be the DAX so let's just jump on the DAX on the uh, four hour time frame as well right about here and the same structure expanding flat so W right here X and then A B and the surprise the piece of resistance this c which is actually um supposed to end the uh, next wave okay because this is kind of a complex structure so w the, the entire structure is w x y all right so notice that uh, it's actually wanting to um complete this um to actually fill this gap 
okay once it does maybe it creates a new uh, a new high it doesn't really make a difference but the point is that uh, a reaction right there would be uh, expected okay so watch out for those levels guys and uh, we'll be now going on uh, us indices okay so dow jones dow jones right here same thing same structure y'all um i am really having difficulties labeling this as um, a wave twos and okay for all of them um instead there is something there is something going on right there for uh for ah sorry guys so there is something going on right there for this expanding flat so this could be uh the vix actually spiking the fomc might be the trigger uh but uh, it could actually result into into something okay so next we'll have the s p 500 and on the s p 500 it's kind of the same uh, the same structure okay so basically what uh, what we have right here is uh, a wave a minor a okay and then the expanding flat a b one two three four five all right now this five and this actually c this c wave can actually be um can represent an ending diagonal itself okay remember how this thing actually likes to finalize the patterns so this being an ending diagonal this would result into something like this and then it shoots okay it might create a new all-time high okay but it might not the uh, sequences uh, are right uh, about right there have some levels um right there uh, check them on the side check them in the green room etc there's a free trial available by the way okay so let's just continue with nasdaq and uh, again same exact same wave count a b and then one two three four five this could uh, uh, of course the same thing this could represent an ending diagonal right here but if if that's the case then um a reaction is expected up there okay so uh, because it's gonna enter this zone right here where it previously vibrated uh, when i was actually active just like i am now okay now the reason why i'm saying all this is because the vix the volatility index is doing something very dangerous right here because uh, this b wave right could actually be a complex uh, corrective structure triple three w x y x z so if that's the case then one more rise is actually needed and the fomc could deliver just that okay in these markets regardless if it's as, if it starts today or somewhere uh, about i mean end of the week or the end of the month or next week so something like this okay but something could be coming all right now what th this is basically what i wanted to um, do with you all today now remember if you do like this video please support it with a thumbs up like it share it share it with your um, friends whatever and um, until next time as i like to say to all my traders stay in the green and many pips ahead bye for now y'all